and put aside the Nukandeza God, it's revelation, and it's bed, why you gave me this, and my bed, and this word, and even to the stone that is cut out of the mountain without hands. And then you say, it's correct, it changed it to say, a stone that became a great mountain of a father. And so, Father, today we thank you that the great mountain is to come of our Father. We thank you, Father, we need to open the Bible today and to look into your words of our Father. As you said, the entrance of your words give us light, give us understanding to the simple. Father, today we will believe your word of our Father. I see all that's going on and everything that's going on and all that's going on and whatever. And whatever tricks the devil is playing upon the minds of the people. And I said they can go on with whatever, all of that. But we will know that your word is sure and steadfast, can never fail. It had never failed, my God, of a father. You had said that a child will be born of a father. And one day you sent the angel Gabriel to Mary. said, you are the woman who's going to bring forth this child that will save of a father. He shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. That's why his name shall be called Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. The anointed one, Emmanuel, Christo. Father, we thank you for the revelation today. And I pray, Father, that this word has gone forth today, our Father, and open up your Bible, that we would, um, our hearts will be open to receive it, my God, and my Father, knowing that no, no scheme of the devil, no deception, no tricks of the devil will prevail against the wisdom of the Almighty God. And Father, that wisdom will rest in us like, like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Belteshazzar, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Babylonian names of our Father, I will call him by the Hebrew name Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, our father. Amen. in that wisdom of our father, that when the king spoke to them, he found that they were ten times wiser than all his magicians, his astrologers, and all of them in his kingdom of our father. We thank you. Yet still, the devil said, don't call them to the king. Don't let them be included. Because they're going to tell the king the truth. They're going to, God, the Almighty God is going to tell them the truth. Amen, our Father. And so you shut down the magicians that day. You're still shutting down the kingdom of darkness today, our Father. You shut them down that day, my God. Shut them down. And our Father he said, No, you shall not. Amen. So the king dismissed every one of them. Our Father said, yeah, You could bring in your men, our Father. You're still doing the same today. That they will declare the truth. Uh, pertaining to the, 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 the dream and the interpretation that in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people but it shall consume and break in pieces all these kingdoms, hallelujah, and it shall stand forever, hallelujah. But Father, we thank you for the blessed assurance today. We pray you bless us to live for the Amen. Have a Father. Cause us to rise up before thee. Establish your going up and coming in. Cause us to rise up, Lord, even at that vapor that keeps going up and up and up and up. Amen. Have a Father. Amen. Amen. And that the purpose you have for life is accomplishing us for time and eternity. And cover under the blood of shield the great eternal lamp. Cover under the almighty wings of the great eternal hand. Go before us to the pillar of fire by night, pillar of cloud by day. Save us in your kingdom and our lives shall the great shall I'm sure the great shall come in Lord. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever in the mighty name of Shiva Mashema the Great Allah, Christo, Emmanuel, Amen, Yeshua, I'm sure the great Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, that's happened sometimes when I'm talking and praying and moving around when I open my eyes and I'm sitting a different way from where I started. But I just wanna say, all right, well I have to have the time. Is that if you want to know the future, I said it before, and the Holy Ghost said, I say it again, right? This is the key. O P E N, open, U P, up, and Y O U R, your, B I B L E, Bible. Eh? That's what it says. The Holy Ghost said, if you want to know the future, if you want to know what's coming up, what's next, what's going to happen the next minute, What's going to happen the next hour? What's going to happen? Amen. For tomorrow. Amen. Open up your Bible. Alright. And if you don't have a Bible, like I have this Bible here. Right. Right. You can find scripture on this. Okay. Find your King James Version Bible and read it. 
Some of these things today, they're called Bible. You don't need it. I just put it simple, right? It's telling you something else. Because, um, so I said, open up your Bible. If you want to know what God has to say, open up your Bible. If you want to know the future, if you know what's coming, want to know what's coming next. If you want to know what's coming next, open up your Bible. Okay? Open up your Bible. So this is a word, and that we do here on this program. We open up the Bible. Hallelujah. 